Uh, um, after back-to-back -back wins, do you think that the boys have regained some of that confidence they had at the start of the year? Yeah, of course. Um, it's always good to, to, get on, to gain a little bit of momentum, but I think the confidence is always there. We're always putting out 100% and yeah, really trying to, trying to push forward and hopefully we get three in a row. Awesome, yeah. And this weekend you made five awesome saves. Um, as a goalkeeper personally, did you gain a lot of confidence just from that game as well? Yeah, I think every player gains confidence with particular moments that happen in a, in a football match. Um, as I said, we all we all believe in each other, and you have to you have to be confident as a footballer. So um, we go in there with the same mentality every time. And it's been your first year at um, United. So how have you enjoyed the time at the club so far? Yeah, it's been great. Um, good bunch of boys, good coaching staff. Um, I really like the city. Good beaches. So it's a little bit different to Melbourne, as I've said before. But yeah, I'm really enjoying it. And compared to earlier in the season, you guys have got a much more evenly distributed fixture in the coming weeks. So do you think that will help the boys develop a bit more of a routine going forward? Yeah, of course. Um, regardless of when we're playing, though, we'll, yeah, we prepare the same and we put in our 100%. So as I said, if we can get three in a row and hopefully put, look forward to that. So. I say, James, just, you mentioned just three in a row. Obviously, we had a bit of a tough run of form prior to the last two games. And <coughs> arguably, the two quite big scouts, Central Coast are obviously doing very well this season, and um, West Sydney as well, and the, the strength and depth they have in their squad is quite ridiculous. Um, is that given the boys even more confidence, considering we are able to bounce back against the Mariners, and then again against West Sydney at their home? Yeah, 100%. Um, we, yeah, we always believe in ourselves, and. Um, back each other and you know we've got a lot of depth at our club so whoever comes in and is doing a fantastic job um, so yeah as I said three in a row would be really nice and hopefully we can build off that. Have you found it difficult um, yourself considering we've had I guess um, you know Michael Jacobson's not been playing so you have to have another centre-back partnership you have to get used to with Jordan Nelson and George Timothy has that been difficult for you at all? Uh, not really um, as I said, everyone that's coming in is doing a phenomenal job. So um, there are, you know, little traits here and there that you have to adapt to. But uh, we train, you know, every day basically. Um, so yeah, there are things you have to adapt to, but it hasn't been that difficult to be fair. Talk us through the last few minutes from the game against West Sydney on the weekend as well. We obviously put off that quite late save. Yeah. Uh, was the heart racing? Uh, to be honest with you, not really. Like. A, I was just trying to be in the moment, um, trying to keep everyone calm and yeah, dig deep and, and stick out the win. So um, yeah, to answer your question, not really, but um, I was happy yeah, that I could make those saves I did to help the team and bring home the three points. Um, looking ahead to, to this week, obviously we play again Friday night here at Cooper Stadium. Um, big game as well, you know, how important is it that we get you know, three in the trial? Yeah, very important. Um, as I said, it's something we can gain momentum from and um, something we can look to get ourselves back up into, you know, top four range. Um, so, yeah, we'll be really looking forward to, to Friday night. Um, yeah. I was just going to say, um, from final for me, um, you've been named uh, LA United's members uh, Player of the month for the second month in a row. Um, you've only been here for a, a few months as well. Uh, how does that feel that the fans are taking to you and they're so appreciative of the performances you've been putting in for the for the team? Yeah, of course. Um, it's it's, a, it's an honour. Um, I'm uh, truly grateful for for being nominated yeah, twice in a row. Or, um, and yeah, I'm really enjoying it here. So hopefully we can get a third one. Yeah, um, you also may not be aware, I don't know if you know, but you're, I think you lead the league in saves made as well. So how much of you do you feel like you've benefited playing consistently? Um, you know, how much have you flourished? Yeah, definitely. Um, as a goalkeeper, I think you know the quieter our games, the better. Um, you, yeah, you don't really want to be making making many saves, but this is how, how the games have been panning out for me, and I'm happy to yeah, to do what I do and, and help the team, really. And, and just with Newcastle, I think they had their first loss in six games at the weekend. What are you expecting for them, and how, how how much an improved side are they compared to, say, the start of the season? Yeah, they're they're a great side. Um, yeah, well, as I said, prepare normally. Um, we know what they're about. We've been um, reviewing their games already th early this week, so um, look really looking forward to Friday night.